All right, I have a 650 Sub-Zero top over bottom here at 55 degrees in the refrigerator and minus five in the freezer. So the freezer's working great. Refrigerator, not so much. Uh, 55 degrees is definitely accurate. My beer here is 55 degrees and that is no fun. So let's get into diagnosing this and let's do like a step one. And step one as a technician is we just wanna make sure that the most basic functions of the machine work and that the motors all work. So the door closes and it closes well. I would say that the door can be ruled out. Let's forget about the door. The hardware is great. It's not your door gasket or anything like that. The next thing I wanna look at are these two switches up here. One is your light switch. And it seems very responsive and working. The next is your evaporator fan, which is also working. Uh, at this point, I'll take a look inside. I can sort of hear gas going through the tubes and I don't see any frost back there. So that's good. That kind of tells me that the compressor is working. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop up here, up to the mechanicals. On the left is your freezer compressor. This is fine, it's minus five degrees in there. Freezer's working great, let's forget about that. The next is our refrigerator compressor, which if I put my hand on the top of it, it's got a slow vibration. It is slightly warm. I am definitely getting power to it. So I would say that the refrigerator compressor, although the fridge isn't working, is definitely running and doing something correct. If it were a bad compressor, you would maybe hear clicking and it would be so hot you couldn't even touch it. So I'm going to rule that out for now. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is our condenser fan motor, which is quite obviously spinning and circulating air over the compressors. So we're going to rule that out. And then our condenser is nice and clean up here. So step one, this machine sort of has passed. All of the motors for a refrigerator, the compressor, the condenser fan, the evaporator fan, the lights, they're, they're all working. All, all, everything electronic seems to be here working. We're getting power where we need to get. That's step one. At this point, we need to go a little bit further and get into step two, which is getting into the system. Uh, from this uh, test that we've done, I can now accurately say there's something going on inside of the sealed system in this unit and we're going to put a gauge on the compressor to figure that out at this point you may need a technician to help you with that uh but this whole first part of of the diagnose you could do at home as a homeowner and you will know before a technician even comes in your home my compressor is running my evaporator fans running my condenser fans running my condensers clean my lights work my door is good all of these things are important and they're exactly what we're looking for before we come out and diagnose a unit. And it's good for us to know too. So if you can do it before someone comes out, more power to you.